hey hi hello this is Sarvana from A4 Analytics and in this video we're gonna see about how to create a folder in a table in Power BI stay tuned data set called global superstore and as I, as I always said so which is a very much popular data set in a tableau space and you can just google and google it and download it in excel form and make use of it and in this data set we have uh, three tables uh, of return order and people and you see here so we have we already created a measure table in the name of returns so we want to create a separate folder in this returns table so we can group and concatenate and categorize the measure we create in a separate folder so which is very much useful and very much readable for the news peoples and as well as for the for you uh, when you go back and come back to a work and you can easily traverse and find the measure you want without uh, doing a complexes you know without uh, spending much time on this so how to create a folder in measure table so we don't have a, a, a native functionality to create a folder in measure table but we can create it using a built-in functionality in power bi so this is the data model we're using so so i going to the returns I'm gonna select measures so I'm gonna select which measure I want to create as a ta new table a new folder select measure and so I want both these measures to be in a separate folder so I'm gonna open the property pane and go to the display folder and in the display folder I'm gonna name it as uh, a country measure just for the name just for the shake of a video so it's not professional I know yeah so I'm gonna end give an enter and you see one when when I create when I, when I hit the enter a separate uh, folder is created with these two measures yeah and if you go back to the report area and you see you can see the country measure and there are two uh, separate measures for a folder and you can create a subfolder for it and you can create an, any number of folders you as much as you want in this measure table not in the measure table in any in, in any table so and that's all from my side and thanks for watching and if you have any questions please drop it in the comment below and if you see any other video which is better than this please don't hesitate to put it on the comment so we can learn together thank you so much have a good day see you bye